Hi there, I'm Quinn, a.k.a. Quinn Jitsu. And I'm Ryan, a.k.a. Luke Stashwalker. Mind blowing! I'd like to shake the hand of the genius that came up with that moniker. <laughs> well, this week you'd be shaking three hands since three Toy Box TV viewers came up with it. We have James R. Curie and Dylan Viars getting their ideas picked for a second time each, as well as newcomer Lily Bird. But since you're chained to your workstation, Quinn, <laughs> those handshakes will be a long time coming. Bah. Dago bah, actually. Huh? Well, today we're sharing some tips for making Dago bah in the original Star Wars trilogy. Oh, you mean the swamp planet where Yoda trains Luke in the ways of the Force? Precisely. In fact, we'll use the new Disney Infinity Team toy box, Luke Skywalker Jedi in Training, for the purposes of this video. Check it out! Well, let's start with the Sky Dome. How about Syndrome Sinister Takeover in the Sky Changer to get a suitably dark and cloudy atmosphere? For the terrain, let's use a bunch of the river and pond terrain blocks with the dinosaur world theme. Connect them together and you've got a swampy river running throughout your planet. Man, wouldn't want to step in that nasty water. You never know what could be in what was that. Oh, uh, that's nothing to worry about. It's just a giant dragon snake. It only eats things that are droid sized or bigger. Um, but that would include... Yeah, this monster is made with a full dome basic block with a Felucia surface theme connected to a path crater just below the water surface. For other local creatures, try the orange gorg and warts from the critters category. The vultures are also nice because they circle automatically. Probably looking for some dragon snake leftovers in Avalon. Um, getting back to the swampy landscape, you can add the large sand dune from building sets group 6 or other hills from terrain and customize them. Dago Buzz also got a lot of trees and bushes. A few that look great from the plants category are the pirate's tree and fantasy terrain pieces with the briar ridge or dinosaur island themes. To make the vegetation nice and dense, just place flat themed fantasy terrain pieces close together like the Tomorrowland terrain strip 1, then change the themes. Bam! Instant thick foliage. Ooh, very tricky! To further flesh things out, try adding some logs from the decorations category and cobblestone path pieces from the building sets group 4. And be sure to use the effects generator, connected to locators, to play large area smoke effect for a constant cloud of fog. Man, I can barely see through that, but is, is that a ship over there sinking? Oh, then I just made my last payment! You can connect Luke's X-Wing to a path creator and have it reset in play to either sink below the swamp surface or levitate with the power of the force. And when Luke must be tested by his fears, you can use the treehouse hidden door, cave blocks from terrain, and the boss battle toy for a fight with Darth Vader. Or is it a fight with himself? Bum, bum, bum. Woo! This tips and tricks has left me feeling swamped. Well, try not to think about it too, Marsh. We better quit before this video gets too bogged down by terrible puns. Yeah, it could turn into a real quagmire. Alright, right, right, that's enough. Leave any questions, as well as any new ideas for my alias in the comments below. Also, be sure to check the other tips and tricks videos for more ideas on building your own epic toy box. Day go, Bob, for it. Too much. <sighs> just, just, just walk away.